So, um, yes, just to welcome you to World Federation Day 2022. Um, it's really great to have you all with us, and um, we're going to um, have worship, a Bible study, a keynote speech, some action stations later, and finally, oh, um, some a time of closing worship before we depart. Um, as you know, the theme is sustainability, um, and I hope that you'll get a lot from today. Um, my name is Rachel Allison, and I used to be a Helen King Memorial Scholar, um, and Madeline um, has taken over from me, who's also here today. Um, but yes, um, a couple of housekeeping things. I said in my email that we'll be taking a collection of suggested donations of £10 to cover the costs of the day. That will be collected at lunchtime, um, so if you can make sure you've got your £10 ready. We'll also have the offering um, during the final worship for the World Federation. Um, can you make sure that you um, keep hold of your bags and personal possessions? Um, I've been told that, um, that some things sometimes go missing and we should all be on guard for those kinds of things. We'll be taking a few pictures during the day, so if you don't want to be in those, please let the person know um, that you don't want to be in them. And um, yes, and thank you to Margaret and the team and everybody in this church who's welcomed us this morning and is letting us use the facilities. Now I'm going to invite John, who's the minister here, to, um, to welcome us to the church and then have those Margaret and the team to do some worship. Well, a very good morning to you and uh, welcome uh, to uh, St. John's Northgate in Gloucester, which is one of the uh, nearly 40 churches, I give up count, counting, nearly 40 churches in the Gloucestershire Methodist Circuit. Um, you might think that this is a very strange looking Methodist church, and indeed it is, uh, because the tower behind you dates back to the 14th century, which those of you who know any Methodist history at all know that Methodism didn't exist then. Um, uh, this half of the building was built in the 17th century, I think, although there are others who know the history of this better than me here today. Um, uh, we have a number of claims to fame um, in Gloucester. Um, Robert Rakes came from Gloucester, and um, I've had my bubble burst a bit this morning about the history of Robert Rakes in relation to the Sunday School movement, but he did found a Sunday School um, from, uh, from this church, uh, and that window is a memorial um, to him. Uh, 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 John Wesley also preached here, um, and the pulpit is there, is there uh, but when he preached it, it was a magnificent three-decker pulpit um, uh, in, in the centre here, and, um, by some kind of um, architectural vandalism that was all taken out at some point uh, 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 in, in the past. So, but a very warm welcome. I hope you enjoy yourself today. I wish you here. Um, I wish you well. Uh, I'll be around most of the morning, um, and I hope you have a good and a fruitful time together. Uh, in terms of practicalities, hopefully you've found the toilets by now. Um, there is just one toilet at the back of the church, um, and again this reflects its history as a grade two star listed building. We can't do much uh, with the building, um, and uh, during, during, whilst we're here can you use that one, but then most of the toilets are over in the um, uh, church hall, the other side of the room, um, and there are only two um, entrances, stroke exits, so in the unlikely event of a fire, um, you need to uh, exit either by that door or by the door at the back. But you're welcome and I hope you have a really good day. Thanks. Thank you. I owe an apology <coughs> to the lady that I sent over there. I didn't realise there was a toilet hidden. <laughs> Very sorry. <laughs> Today we will look at how we can be responsible stewards of God's creation. But first, let us thank God for his wonderful creation. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. We begin our worship with the hymn 82, O Lord my God,
We join in praise with the writer of the Psalms when he says, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. May we show our love and reverence to you, our Lord, by caring for all that you have created. We humbly give you thanks and praise. Amen. Our reading comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26 to 28, and then verse 31. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. 
So, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Amen. One of the things that happens when you belong to Methodist women in Britain is if you get the chance to use worship material that comes from all over the world. We are going to say a psalm of praise from Africa, South Africa, together. It's going to be done by you, not by me. The left side will start, then we will all say, Praise the Lord and bless his name. And the right side will continue. Your left and your right. <laughs> Very confusing when like you're up here. A psalm from South Africa. I was very fortunate to go to the World Conference when it was in South Africa. And I can remember some of the ladies treating us to their version of the psalm. Thank you. If you would like to lead, John. <laughs> All you big things, praise the Lord, drag a sword in the stable mountain, in the earth and the oceans, yellow wood, oak and hard trees. Praise the Lord and bless his name. All you tiny things, praise the Lord, busy red hands. Thank you. 
lifting music and singing psalms, Bible studies and gospel praise, preaching the word and receiving God's gifts. Praise the Lord and bless his name. All you created things, praise the Lord. Our planet Earth and its orbiting moon, our galaxy with its systems of suns, all the universe, both known and unknown. Praise the Lord and bless his name. Readings now from the Prophets. Firstly, a warning from Isaiah. The earth dries up and withers. The world languishes and withers. The exalted of the earth languishes. The earth is defiled by its people. They have disobeyed the laws violated the statutes, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore a curse consumes the earth, its people must bear their guilt. Therefore earth's inhabitants are burned up, and very few are left. And a paraphrase from Amos, as he challenges his listeners, listeners with these words, Hear this, those who trample the needy, and do away with the poor of the land. They shall fail. And we continue our worship now with our next hymn, so, um, Singing the Faith 727, if you're singing from the hymn books. <coughs> God in his love for us.
We come now to our prayers. Let us pray. Creator God, we give you thanks and praise for all the wonders of our world. The beauty of landscapes in all parts of the globe. The sounds of birds and animals. The sound of flowing water. The plenty that we could all enjoy if only we could learn how to share and live at peace with one another. We have so much that we have taken for granted, O oh God. We have spoiled the balance of your creation with our greed. Your streams of living water are choked with chemicals. The seas are full of plastic. Natural vegetation is killed so that the land can produce food for the rich, starving the poor in the process and upsetting the whole balance of nature. Forgive us, Lord, and open our eyes to see and our ears to hear the cry of your creation. Teach us its wonders. Teach us to cherish and protect your world. Teach us how to live in your world. To live in partnership with all things. That we may learn to live as one body in Christ. Dependent on each other's gifts. And sharing in each other's hopes. We ask our prayer for your sake. Amen. The Lord's Prayer has a response. Can you um, respond with the words in heavy time? Our Father in heaven, creator of the universe and all life on earth, grant us that you recognize the gifts you have given us. And, and keep your name holy always in our hearts and in our communities. <coughs> Let your kingdom grow here on earth as we do your will, as we love and respect your creation, your truth, and all your people. Let us act justly, love gently, and walk humbly with you, our Lord. We ask you for our daily bread, for all our needs. Move us to share the beliefs of the and help bless that we need for a dignified human life. Forgive us for blindness, for willful ignorance, for the selfishness and greed that has led us to exploit the Earth's resources for our luxury and comfort. Forgive us for us this rain and corruption. Forgive us for our contribution towards global warming and climate chaos that are furthering endangering the lives of the poorest peoples and places on earth. Help us to understand and forgive people who feel powerless in their own of resolving problems of greed, abuse, or injustice. Lead us, Lord, to see through the temptations of the world to have it all, cost what it may for those already in the greatest need. Deliver us from blindness and hardened hearts, from the excuses and lack of understanding of the suffering, and the causes of hatred that all around us. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Almighty Creator. Give us the grace to reflect your kingdom every day of our lives in this world. Amen. Our final hymn is a new, a new one, but the tune you will all know. Create a God, abundant like your mark. <coughs>
Now we come to our final prayers. Lord of all, as with joy we have offered thanksgiving for your love shown in creation. Move our hearts to be generous and wise stewards of the good things that we enjoy. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May God, who clothes the lilies and feeds the birds of the sky, who multiplied loaves and fishes and changed water into wine, feed us and change us to reflect the glory of you, our Creator, in this world and the next. Amen. Amen.